present for our walk in this world. They resound with Welcome again to Seeing Through the Mist. We come to Ecclesiastes chapter 11, the next to the last chapter of our journey with Solomon as he is teaching us to see past the illusion that is life, as he teaches us to see past the, the vanity, the emptiness that life is. And there have been some hard things. There have been some, uh, some things that, that seem very depressing as we've gone through this book. But Psalm now is concluding with some proverbial statements and reminding us of, of the perspective that we need to have. Perspective. That's really the word for today as we look at Ecclesiastes 11, verses 1 through 4. Uh, Ecclesiastes 11, verses 1 through 4. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Give portion to seven, or even to eight, for you know not what disaster may happen on earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it will lie. He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. And as, we, as I first looked at that, what is Solomon saying? What is it that he wants us to learn? If you throw your bread upon the waters, you'll find it after many days. You know, share with, give a portion to seven or eight. You don't know what disaster is going to happen. Yes, if the clouds are going to, are full of rain, they're, they're going to water the earth. What's Solomon saying? I think he's reminding us of our perspective on life. If we are hoarding for ourselves, if we are there for selfish gain, we're missing what life is about. Perspective. Cast your bread upon many waters, you will find it after many days. If you're giving away, you're going to be given too. Share your portion with seven, maybe even eight. You don't know what disaster is coming. If you're hanging on to everything for yourself, what's going to happen to if disaster comes and, and you're gone? Share with those who, who have need. Share with those who you can help in whatever way that you can help them. Don't had the perspective of it's all about me. Had the perspective is that this life is just this life and there's more to come. He who observes the wind will not sow. He who regards the clouds will not reap. If you're focused on the right here and the right now, you're going to miss what's going on. You know, this time of year and the part of the country that I live in, in, in Alabama, it's hot. It's muggy. It's going to be in the lower to mid 90s today with humidity it's going to feel like 102 degrees it's going to be hot you know what i'm not going to do today i'm not going to go home at four o'clock in the afternoon and start the lawnmower and mow the yard why because it's hot but solomon's saying is if you don't do what you need to do when you need to do it you're going to miss the opportunity if you look at the forecast and it says well it's it's going to be windy today i better not throw seed out well you're not going to throw seed out if you're looking for excuses, you're going to find excuses to do to not do what you don't want to do. Isn't that really what it is? You know, if the yard really need needed mowing, I could wait till it was cooler in the day. Or I could have delayed coming into the building today, to the office today, and mowed early this morning. Or I could pay a service to do it to get it done. But if I don't want to do it, I'm going to find a way not to do it. I think Solomon is challenging my perspective. What is it that I really want? What is it that I'm really focused on? And as he's concluding this book of Ecclesiastes, as he's helped us see the, the vanity, the smoke, the vapor, the mist of life, as he's helped us to see that that is the illusion, he's challenging us to gain the perspective, to see beyond that, to see through it, and to see that this life is, is not about me. This life is not about what I can gain and what I can do and what I have. It's not the one with the most toys in the end wins. It's the one who gains that perspective 
that sees beyond this temporary pleasure-filled but grief-filled life and sees that there is something so much greater and so much more. We focus on the one who gave us life. When we focus on God, let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your love, for your care, for your creation. Father, we thank you that you have given us life and that we live in the moment that we live. Father, as we look at our life, help us to have a perspective of life that sees that this life is a way that we prepare to be eternally with you because this life ends and what we have goes on to someone else. So help us to see, help us to share, help us to share the reality of you with others. Thank you again for loving us. Thank you for Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for allowing me to join you as we see through the mist, as we spend time each day in the book of Ecclesiastes. I'm looking forward to our lesson tomorrow. I'm looking forward to spending time with you. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, yes, as always, that God will bless your day.